Hello and welcome back to the Ken O V channel. Welcome back to the annual episode where we talk about some of the most disappointing figure of 2019. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to review a lot of figures because of my hectic schedule in 2019. So this list is going to be the list of disappointing figures I've reviewed in 2019. And some of the figures on this list may surprise you, but please note that these are based on my humble opinion. And I'm sure most of the figures listed later will not be popular among some of you. But that's the beauty of action figures. You can like them or you can hate them. At the end of the day, we're talking about them. So if you don't agree with my list, feel free to list your own disappointing figures of 2019 in the comment section down below instead of just spamming the dislike button. But if that makes you happy, then by all means. So with that all said, let's begin with the first disappointing figure for me, which is number 5. SH Figure Arts Thanos. Wait, what? Mines. Will blow. <laughs> you serious? No! God, please, no! 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 Yes, SH Figure Arts Armored Thanos. Now, I'd like to add first that this is a beautifully sculpted figure, but there was a lot of expectations on this figure. And what was disappointing for me, and make that in caps and bold, is that he comes with all the wrong accessories. First of all, his weapon. Totally different from what was shown in the movies. And the gauntlet, well this arm was pretty much a reuse from the previous figure with added details. Although it had better paint application, but it's still inaccurate. If you all watch the movies, you know Thanos never used this gauntlet again. And the fact we're stuck with this on this figure is just frustrating. At least give us an interchangeable arm. Lastly, this figure is a bit limited in its articulation. So overall, it is a beautifully sculpted figure and if I knew nothing about this character or I didn't watch the movie, then this figure would have been great. But sadly, that's not the case and here we are. Number 4. Masco Iron Man. Masco Iron Man 2? Oh, hell no. And here we go. Yes, another beautifully sculpted figure and beautifully painted. And this time, it comes with a lot of good accessories to play with as well. But again, what was disappointing for me with this figure is this figure's articulation. It does have all the necessary articulation for this figure to move, but even a Marvel Legends figure, a $20 figure, has more articulation than this figure. And that's saying something. Plus, the weight of this figure has started to loosen up some of the joints, which is always a bad start towards a figure's longevity. And at the end of the day, this figure is all looks, but no substance. But if that's enough for you, that's great. But it wasn't enough for me for the price I'm paying for this figure. Number 3. Mayfax Spider-Man Comic Edition. Yeah, when I said this figure was disappointing in my review, it was quite an unpopular opinion as well, but I still stand by it. I tried giving it another chance by taking this out of the box and playing around with it, but all I kept thinking was, this figure feels familiar, like I already have this figure, or why did I spend money on a figure I already have, even though it's a completely new figure? Well, that's because they're reusing the same accessories as the Mayfax Spider-Man Homecoming figure, and there are other comic Spider-Man figures out there that looks a lot better than this, as this figure's metallic paint finish just doesn't do it for me. So this may be the best Spider-Man figure for some, Unfortunately, as much as I wanted to like this figure, it goes back into the box for me. Number 2 Figma Ninja Batman I was so hyped for this figure. Knowing that I could get the Sengoku Armored Batman in figure form got me extremely excited. And what I got in the package was disappointing. For the base figure at least. The Sengoku form was acceptable. Even though its articulation was limited and the transformation was tedious, once I got to the Sengoku form, I didn't want to change back because of how cool it looked, but the base form, there was just too much sacrifice made in order to make the Sengoku form work, such as the weird proportions on the base form figure, and most importantly, the flimsy joints which wasn't strong enough to hold some of the Sengoku armor. 
So having to pay his full asking price for 50% of success of a figure just wasn't worth it at all. And it really pains me to say that about this figure, as I was praying this figure would be as successful as the Figma Deadpool figure, which I still use till this day. But unfortunately, it's not. Number 1 SH Figure Arts Ronin Where do I even begin? No unmasked head, limited articulation, lukewarm accessories. There was nothing about this figure that gives you the hint that this is an Avengers character. This figure could have been anything. A League of Shadows assassin, just another random ninja, anyone. But if you want to slap the Ronin name to this figure and put it in line with the other Avengers figure, at least give us an unmasked head so we know who this guy is. The moment this figure was out of the box, there was an instant regret of purchasing this figure for its full asking price. At least if this figure was highly posable, I could still use it as a minion in sketches but it's not even that posable. And the accessories? Multiple accessories instead of making the sword and sheath compatible with each other and also the sheath does not stick to his body very well. It just keeps coming off even at the slightest pressure. Overall, this figure was extremely frustrating to play with and even though it closely resembled the character which by the way was featured in a few seconds at his full mask before he was unmasked, it's still the most disappointing figure of 2019 for me. I rarely get upset over purchasing a figure but this figure did that for me. And with that all said, that concludes my list of disappointing action figures I've reviewed in 2019. Once again, I'd like to note that these are based on figures I've reviewed this year and I'm sure there were plenty of other figures that may be disappointing but in terms of those I reviewed, these were the disappointing ones for me. But like I said earlier, if you have other figures in mind that should be in the list, do share it with me in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this list somehow even though you don't agree with it, feel free to hit that like or dislike button and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video where we turn things around and talk about the best figures I've reviewed in 2019. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video. To watch more, click here. Right click here for video 1. Click here for video 2. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Thank you.